Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, you will learn to create a zoom transition. Let's see the preview. Let's get started. First of all, open Adobe After Effects. Then create a new composition. I am calling it Transition. Set the resolutions to 1920 by 1080 pixels. 30 frames per second. And set the duration to 2 seconds. Go to the File menu. Then import the temporary images. Now, drag both images to the composition. Drag the second image to 15 frames. Select the slide 1 image. Go to the edit menu and click split layer. Delete the top image layer. We don't need it. Drag the marker to the 15 frames. Double click on it, and type here, cut, or whatever you like. Perfect. Right click here. Then new and select the adjustment layer. Rename it to in, and out. Drag the adjustment layer to one frame forward. Go to effects and presets. Search the effect motion tile. Drag and drop to the adjustment layer. Change the output width and height to 200. Select the mirror edges. Again go to the effects and presets. And search the effect transform. Drag and drop to the adjustment layer. Click the scale and rotation stopwatch icons to add a keyframe. Go forward to 15 frames. And change the scale to 300. And change the rotation to negative 25 degrees. Go forward to 1.15 seconds. And change the scale to 100. And change the rotation back to 0 degrees. Press U to reveal all keyframes. Select all keyframes. Right click. Go to keyframe assistant. And choose easy ease. Uncheck the use composition. And change the shutter angle to 275. Let's check the results. Looks perfect to me. Right click here. Then new, and choose adjustment layer. Rename the adjustment layer to distortion. Slightly drag it to one frame forward. Go to the effects and presets. Search the effect motion tile. Drag and drop to the distortion layer. Change the output width and height to 350. Also, check the mirror edges. Go to the effects and presets. And search the effect optics compensions. Drag and drop to the distortion layer. Add a keyframe on field of view. Go to 15 frames forward. Change the field of view value to 175. Check the reverse lens distortion. Go forward to 1.15 seconds. Change the field of view value back to zero. Right click here. Then new, and choose adjustment layer. Rename it to the color. Go to the effects and presets. Search the effect motion tile. Drag and drop to the color layer. Check the mirror edges. Again go to the effects and presets. And search for the effect tint. Drag and drop to the color layer. I am going to change the first color to red. And the second color to blue. But you are free to choose any colors you want. Select the color layer. And drag it to one frame forward. Go to the effects and presets. And search the effect emboss. Drag and drop it just below the tint effect. Change the direction to positive 90 degrees. Add a keyframe on relief. Change the relief value to zero. 
drag the keyframe to the first frame, go forward to 15 frames, then change the relief value to 30, go forward to 1.15 seconds, and change the relief value back to 0. Click the toggle switches button, then change the layer mode from normal to hard light. Let's see what we have created so far. Select all layers. Press U to reveal all keyframes. Select all keyframes. Right click. Go to keyframe assistant. And choose easy ease. Select the last keyframes. And drag them to the 1.25 seconds. Select the image layers. Right click. And choose the guide layer. We are almost done. It's time to apply this effect to our images. So, go to the file menu. Then import the required images. Go to the composition, and create a new composition. Rename it to the zoom transition. Change the duration to 15 seconds. Select all images, and drag them to the newly created composition. Adjust the scale of the images if required. Now, adjust the image layers to something like this. Finally, drag the transition composition which we created earlier. And drag after the first image layer. Don't forget to enable the continuously rasterize option. Select the transition layer, and make it duplicate, then drag it just after the second image layer. Let's see the final result. Looks perfect to me. Finally, our zoom transition is ready. If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. I will respond as soon as possible. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Good luck.